Okay, so now you just unraveled John B. Absolutely. You already unraveled. The officer unraveled, yes, he did. <laughs> yes, unraveled, unpackaged, uh, uh, un reprogrammed, uh -huh. you know, highlighted, illuminated, yeah. okay, every other word you can think of. Absolutely. That is a lot to take in. <laughs> It is. Brother. It's a lot to That's take in because take in. the reason why that happened is because I all mean, of these things happened to us. at the whole time but in this chapter they say you take it out of context let's reference the history that christ was talking about numbers chapter 21 verse 5 and the people spake against god and against moses so our people the israelites when they came out of egypt they in the wilderness walking around for 40 years and they spoke against god and moses let's see what god did to them read wherefore have you brought us up out of egypt to die in the wilderness uh -huh. For there is no bread, neither is there any water, and our soul loathed this light bread. So they complained about food and drink when God gave them water and manna from the sky. Yes, and that was. And he gave them water out of a rock, and they complained. Read. And the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people. He sent fiery serpents, mm. poisonous mm. snakes amongst the people. Let's see who was getting oh, bit man. by these poisonous snakes. Read. And they bit the people, and much people of Israel died. So who was dying from the bites? Israel, right? So Christ, now let's see what happened to heal the people. Read. Therefore, the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord and against thee. So they literally apologized. Moses, we have sinned. We don't spoke against you and God. Please pray on our behalf that he does not keep killing us. That's what they're asking them for. Read. Pray to the Lord that he take excuse, that he take away the serpents from us. Uh -huh. And Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said to Moses, make thee a fiery serpent. So this is what God said to Moses when he prayed. Make a fiery serpent. Read. And set it upon a pole. You ever seen the ambulance? Yes. You ever seen the snakes that's on yes, the pole? That's where they get it from. It right. represents healing. Mm -hmm. It's in the Bible. They take a symbol that was given to us and make it for everybody. Right. right. <laughs> Look, now listen. Now so who, now listen, who was dying again? Israel, right? Yes. Read. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is bitten. Who was bitten? Was everybody bitten? All random people or only no. the Israelites bitten yeah, and died? Israelite so it's, so it's, but it said everyone that's bitten. So the context ain't changed. We're only talking about Israel. Oh, wow. It ain't changed. So read on. Okay. What are you looking upon it? So when you look on this fiery serpent, because they're going to raise it up on a pole, read. Shall live. He shall what? Shall live. So when you look up on that ser on the fiery serpent that was put on the pole, you shall live. Let's go back to John 3 and, four and 14 again. Read. John chapter 3, verse 14. And Remember, in John, it's two Jews talking, Nicodemus and Christ. Right. Read. And as Moses lifted up his serpent in the wilderness. So the same way. Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Who did he lift it up to? The Israelites. Christ is saying that exact same way for the same people, it's gonna happen the same way again. This time it's not gonna be a snake, it's gonna be Christ, it's gonna be himself. Read. Even so must the son of man be lifted up. Same thing. That's the context. Ooh. That's what that means. This is, <laughs> this is a, uh... <laughs> Absolutely. This is like a reprogramming here. That's that's what the Bible yes, says. Yes. Listen, listen, we're gonna read that. Give me uh, uh Revelations 18 and 4. 
gonna show you something about that reprogramming that must happen. That's actually what you just said, exactly what we're trying to do to our people, reprogramming. Wow. Right. Right. You've been wow. in the matrix, you've been sleep for so long. <laughs> and look, it ain't just you. I was sleep at one point, we all was sleep. And we all had to wait. When we heard this, it's like, look, that makes perfect sense. So it's in plain it. English. And who am I to tell God so he's I'm wrong? I'm Neo today. You, yes, you are Neo today. The red pill or the blue pill? Absolutely. You are Neo today, which is what that movie was about, by the way. It was actually, it was actually about our people waking up. Yeah, yeah. Now, so let's read verse 4. Let's see what God says to us about that reprogramming. Read. Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. Uh -huh. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. Come out of her, my people. Come out of Babylon, my people. This is Mystery Babylon. They call this place Egypt, and they call it Sod uh, 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 Sodom. Wow. Why? What's allowed here in Sodom? Everything. Two oh, men can get married, yes. two women can get married. married. Wasn't they right. doing the same thing in Sodom and Gomorrah? Yes, they were. Now, America allowed it. What about in Egypt? Who were slaves in Egypt? Mm -hmm. The Israelites. Who were slaves over here in America? The Israelites. Right. The exact same thing. Same thing is repeating itself all over. That's why I call it a great mystery Babylon. Because yeah. nobody says America is Babylon. That's it does right. not call it America in the Bible. Yeah. It calls it great mystery Babylon. Now let's all see. Because right. it said come out of her. Yeah. Come out of a doctrine. Come out of her ways. Because her ways got... Look, you ain't... Everybody walking by here are blind. Everybody. Everybody. They don't know the Bible either. They know the same thing you know. Love everybody and everything else. God loves everybody. Christ comes for everybody. But they cannot show you that in the Bible because we just read it. And that's not what it means. So read. And come out of her, my people. Uh -huh. They be not partakers of our sins. Because we do not supposed to be partakers of this place's sins. Going to church on Sunday. They gave us the on, in slavery. They gave us Sunday off as a break. As a that's the day they gave us off, not okay. the Sabbath. Wait, this city has more churches than any city in America, I in the world, imagine. matter of fact. This city, which is the main place where we were dropped off, do you know that, sis? My, we were dropped my, off my. here. This city has more churches than any city. Come talk to me. I, I want you to hear something. I want you to hear something. To so what happened in this city? This was the main city that we were broken as a people. Then we were sold everywhere else. So the main breaking happened right here in Charleston. Now, we were broken to believe. They have a slave Bible where they took out the book of Revelations. Matter of fact, they took out a whole lot of stuff. And now we're reading the parts of the Bible that they took out. It's literally a slave Bible where they took things out. So if I had that ask, yes, yes, yes. Good, so what do you, do you follow anything? All praises. So, do you believe in the Bible, though? Now, the Bible. Now, the Bible is not Christianity. Christianity. Christi no. King James looked like me and you. That's right. He was the. He. It is all over history. It is historical fact that King James was. Yes, he ruled Scotland and Britain at the same time. The only black king to do it. Right. We were Moors. Remember, you ever heard of Moors before? Yes. Now, what, what land was the Moors in? What was they ruling? No, 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 no. Before they was in Africa, what were they? Where were they? They was in Spain and Great Britain. Britain. Right. Why were our people in Spain? The first slaves to come here came from Spain. The first black slaves to get shipped came from Spain. They ruled it. But then we say, we don't, we actually believe all those times. Look, you heard the Dark Ages, right? Y'all heard of that before? Yes. Why do they call it Dark Ages? Not because we was ignorant and couldn't read. It's because dark people ruled the planet. That's right. right. The Moors was oh, ruling. We were kings. Yeah. So they tell you that no, with no education. Yet and still, during the Dark Ages, there is a city in Spain today that they cannot rebuild. Because the buildings are so sophisticated, they have no clue how our people made them. Right. No clue. We don't know who we are. So when we say, oh, Dark Ages, oh, we don't, they don't know nothing. We don't think they talking negative about us. Right. They are. The Bible is not Christianity. Christianity is man-made. Right. The Bible does not tell you to follow Christianity. Because what day do most of our people go to church? What's your name, if you don't mind me asking? Deborah? Okay, Deborah. What day do most people in the planet go to church? Sunday. Sunday. Is that in the Bible? No. We're going to read it. 
Let's get First Peter chapter two and twenty one. I'm gonna show you something because everybody, everybody says, everybody says they are Christian. To be a Christian means you follow Christ, right? Is that where we at? Yes, sir. Read that. First Peter chapter two verse twenty one. Read. You know what? Even here to what he called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example. So Christ left us an example. Do you leave an example for nobody to follow? <laughs> it's an example for us to follow. Read. That he should follow. That we should follow. His step. Read. Who did no sin. He didn't sin. So if Christ didn't sin, we have to read what Christ did. Read on. Neither was God found in his mouth. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's it. So he didn't, so Christ wasn't out here speaking evil to nobody. He wasn't out here going against his own people. Nothing. He was telling them to repent. Let me get Luke. Let's read where Christ went and what day did Christ go to church. It's in the Bible, what day Christ went to church. It's literally in the Bible. Luke chapter 4, verse 16. Uh -huh. And he came to Nazareth. Hold on. Now on the flyer, on the flyer that you have, I want you to flip over on the back. Because you said you, said you don't follow the Bible because it's nonsense. Yeah. Now the front of it, look at the front. Did that happen to our people? Yes. Is that true? Yes. There are scriptures in the Bible that said it was going to happen over 3,000 years before it actually happened. Slave ships. It's in the Bible. Right. The fact we came here on slave ships is in the Bible. The Bible is a history book about you. It's not about Christianity. All right. We're going to prove it. We're going to prove it. Let's see what Christ did. 16. Luke chapter 4 verse 16. And he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. And if y'all have any questions, feel free to ask as well. Read. And as his custom was. As a custom, something he did all the time. A custom is something you do all the time. Yeah. Right now, you've adopted the customs of this land. You go to church on Sunday all the time. That's your custom. Read. He went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. On what day? The Sabbath day. So Christ went to church on Saturday, on the Sabbath. Read. And stood up for to read. And he stood up to read. We're reading. So you know how you go to church and you get the pressure to stand up and read? Imagine that there was Christ standing there, yeah. but it wasn't on Sunday, it was on Saturday. Right. What, how did he determine the Sabbath? All praises. Let's go how to uh, Exodus 20. The Say the seventh, what's that, is it not? The seventh day is the, the Sabbath. Day is the Sabbath. Yeah, and that did not change because when Christ was on the earth, who was ruling? The Romans, right? right. Who was ruling before the Romans? The Greeks, right? The calendar that they was using was the Greco-Roman calendar. What calendar do we use today? The Greco-Roman calendar. So if it was the wrong Sabbath day, wouldn't Christ have told us the right one to do? So why didn't he tell us to do anything different than what he did? It's because that day did not change ever. They just gave they just gave you Sunday, they gave them names. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. But they didn't change the number of the day. It's still day one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. And seven is the Sabbath of the Lord. And that did and Luke is in the New Testament, right? Right. But people say we don't have to follow the old, but Christ was following the old. <laughs> Read. My brothers, y'all giving me a lot. Exodus. That's what, that's, look, we don't, if you ask, we're gonna answer giving me your question. We're gonna if you ask. I need another answer. one. I need another Give one. Give another one. Read that. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Because we're gonna read how you keep the Sabbath yes. day holy. Because this is one of the Ten Commandments. We got ten com look. Well, the Ten Commandments is a summary of all of them. Right. But the fourth one, the fourth out of the ten says this. How you doing? Good deal. Remember the Sabbath. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. How do we keep that day holy? Holy means separate, so it got to be treated separately than everybody every other day. How do you do that? Do you know? You ever been told how? Well, you're supposed to observe God, honor God, right. um, rest. All the things that Rest. he did on that day. All praises. Now we're gonna get more detail. That's not it. That's not all. That's not all. That's not all. Well, watch. Watch. Oh, Read nine. down. All right. Six days shall I labor and do all thy work. Read. Read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Read. In it thou shalt not do any work. So we should not work on this day. Now let's go to another one. Give me uh give me Nehemiah or uh Exodus, either one, whichever one you want. Uh, yeah, let's get it. 35. Or 16, either one of them, yes, whichever one you want. They say the same thing. It's written all over the Bible. That's why we call it multiple scripts, because it say the same stuff all over the Bible. We just don't read it because our Christian pastors, we trust them. Right. We read it. Right. We trust them to do it for us, but God told us individually. 
read and study because even back then during the apostles time when they came to teach the people the people went back to the bible to verify they was not being lied to that's what we have to I do i can admit i don't read it in it's in the way that yeah. people read it yeah i may read and a scripture fine. or two yeah here and there but i'm not reading but you're not reading it, it. and that's no, fine no. once we understand who the bible is talking to yeah. the bible sounds way different it's awakening right. <laughs> right. once you know who it's hey. talking to it is an awakening read that Gentlemen, I'm going exodus to chapter 16 right. verse 23 uh -huh. yep. and he said unto them this is that which the lord has said tomorrow is the rest of the holy sabbath so imagine it's friday and, and he says tomorrow is the sabbath read unto the lord how y'all doing y'all know how to keep the sabbath day holy Y'all ever heard of the Sabbath day? Y'all go to church? Y'all should stop and talk to us, man. Read. Bake that which you will bake today and see that you will see. So on Friday, cook what you're gonna cook today. So he's talking to them on the Friday. He said, tomorrow's the Sabbath. Whatever you're gonna cook, cook it today on Friday. Read. And that which remained of over. The leftovers. Lay out for you to be kept until the morning. You're not supposed to cook on the Sabbath day. That's right. why. They, 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 they barbecue and do all the cooking on Saturday. Why they don't do it on Sunday? Oh. Well, actually, they still do it on Sunday. They just say they're keeping the Lord's Day, okay. but they don't even do that right either. No so the Bible says, whatever you're going to cook and eat on, whatever you're going to eat on Saturday, cook it Friday before the sun go down. Because on tomorrow, you couldn't, because remember, they was in the wilderness and he gave them manna. On Friday, he gave them double because they could not go out there and pick it up off the ground. He was not going to give them manna on the Sabbath. Right. But he gave them double on Friday because right. they could not go out there and get it and work on that day. And now Christ did the same thing in the New Testament. Paul did the same thing in the New Testament. Right. Peter did the same thing in the New Testament. That's right. What else did they not do? Yeah, no, uh, Nehemiah, yes, read sir. that. Nehemiah, chapter 10, verse 31. So it's no working, no cooking. Read. And if the people of the land bring wear or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell. So if the people of the land bring any wear or victuals to sell on the Sabbath day. Today's people are selling a whole lot of stuff. Right. Markets are open all over the world. All the discounts happen today. Read. That we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. That we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. My, my, we can't my, shop my, my, on my, the Sabbath. My, my, as my. It, look, and my that's brothers, in the Bible. I and think our people. I, I, that's, that, 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 that's, okay, I'm, 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 I'm at the eyeballs of, yes. of new knowledge and revelation. Well, you, I thank you, you my brothers, that? for oh, what crazy. you're doing. I really do. I thank you for that. Oh, great. And so I you take, understand and how I to take do what that. I receive what you said Good. very seriously. Good. So I'm going to go back and read my Bible. Yes, now I have a I have one more thing that we have to read. I have What's one more that? thing. Give me uh Deuteronomy 22 and 5. I'm gonna show you something about what's going on with a lot of people, and it's a lot of our people. This Bible is talking to the Israelites over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. It tells us different things that we have to do, and the fact that we don't do them is why the stuff you see on the news keeps repeating itself. We're not out here to hurt nobody. We're trying to wake people up. If, they, right. if anybody got a question, we'll deal with their question. That's right. That's, that's all we, we actually will prefer people ask a question about the Bible. Right. Because we're in, as they call this, we're in the Bible belt right here in South Carolina. You know? And so we should know the Bible here, but we don't. Right. Now, we just want people to talk to. That's all we want. That's all we want. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Read. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Now that's not in the 10. Mm -hmm. That's not in the 10. Mm -hmm. But it's the law. It says the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. And the man shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a woman. Any cross dressing, you're an abomination to God. Right. So what does that mean? That's everything. So what does right that mean? What does that men, mean for a man wear, not to dress like a woman? What can I not wear? Women's clothing. Like what? Dresses. Like a dress. Right. So if a woman dresses in clothes that belong to men, what is she wearing? Well, by society standards, pants. Pants. Remember, in the 1950s, just it ain't been that long ago, our people wasn't even wearing pants. The feminist movement happened in the 40s and 50s. Then women started wearing pants. Right. 
and it was against God. That's why in other countries, wow. you can't go over there to the Arabian country and a woman wear pants over there. You can't do it. Amelia and they, and Amelia Bloomer, now you got the bloomers and stuff that people wear now. What? But that woman that those things was named after was included. She was in the feminist movement and our women joined her and now women wear pants and say that's freedom. Not understanding that they are making themselves abominations to God. Right. Because God did not change. Give me that in Malachi 3 and 6. That's just a law. It says if God said it then, he did not change it for somebody to say, well, you can pick what you want to do now. That's not in the Bible. But we're in the city where the Bible is very key. It's very key. Is that where I want? Yes, Read that. Malachi chapter 3 verse 6. Read. You know? Well, I am the Lord. I change not. He doesn't change. We, people will read that, but then say, I can wear what I want to wear. And it's not that we're bashing. We're just reading it out of the Bible. That's the truth. Because we have men and rappers today wearing dresses and everything. And our society are starting to buy clothes to dress like women. But the Bible says, do not do that. Now, while women for years have been dressing in pants like men, now they try to say, oh, well, they got women's pants now. In the Bible, pants was made for men. Right. It did not say made for women. In the Bible, it describes our women wearing dresses the whole time, not wearing pants ever. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.